Hey guys, Richard from Welsh Tech. This time we're looking at the Frozen Horizon 360mm white ARGB all in one liquid cooler from Thermalright. It's got LJ1700 support. It doesn't have AM5, but I'm sure they'll be bringing out a bracket for it. It's AM4 compatible and 2011 compatible, as well as LJ1155. So, we'll get into some B-roll and then we will get to those glorious benchmarks. So continue to watch because I've got quite a few. Okay, so in terms of benchmarks, I did Cinebench R23, Ada64, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I did 3D Mark CPU test as well as I put in Furmark. Now, the Cinebench R23 run was an idle of 32 Celsius, the max was 60, that was a 10 minute test. Ada64, I ran that for 10 minutes, the idle was a 32 Celsius, max was a 57 Celsius. Now I added Shadow of the Tomb Raider because it is a game and it does utilize the CPU. So here we go. Idle was a 31. The max the CPU hit at the beginning was a 42 Celsius, but it settled back down to a 34. 3D Mark CPU test, the idle was a 34 Celsius and the max it hit was a 60 uh, was a 56 Celsius, sorry. And Furmark was 30 Celsius and the max was a 59. Right. So, that was the benchmarks, as you noticed, that uh, the performance was very good. But there's one problem I don't like about this, is the fans are awfully loud. They do sound like a jet engine, so please uh, bear with me. And what I will do is I will actually help you with that, so continue to watch. Right. The fans now are at, at 50%, so you listen to them. That's 50%. Now, what I'm going to do is go straight to here and go to 100%. So... Overall, very loud. The performance is there. The fans are awfully loud. I don't like loud fans on AIOs because it does get a bit, dis bit distracting when it's too loud. And these are a bit too loud. Even in a case, they're oof, really, really loud. I do love the overall aesthetics of it. The performance is there. But of course, I don't like the sound. The overall noise of this AIO is a bit too much for me. I personally would probably buy it and put different fans on, but then again, probably buying a different AIO would probably be better. But overall, it's a good AIO. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And of course, I've got more stuff coming back from Thermalright. I've got some. I've got one thing from MSI. I've also got a lot of stuff coming from AOC. I'm still waiting on BenQ to get back to me. ASUS, I'm still waiting for him to get back to me. So overall... I'd be having more stuff. So, hope you have a fantastic day. Good. Bye.